Fall Rivers mayor now has five days to leave office. The major developments came out of a meeting about three hours ago after the city council voted to accept certified petitions to recall Mayor Will Flanagan. I would assume the part of Maryland Sherer has the new developments on the story we've been tracking now for weeks. Live from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom in Fall River. Marilyn? There only was about a half hour of discussion before the vote. Now, while a majority of the people attending the meeting supported the recall of Mayor Flanagan, one woman tells me she said it had to come to this. Amid cheers and some animated comments by council members, the Fall River City Council certified a recall petition against Mayor William Flanagan. The vote was unanimous. That means, according to the council, Flanagan has five days to resign. Before the vote, Councilman Daniel Rigo called on the mayor to step aside. I think that the mayor should give up his paycheck and fight his battle. Councilor Leo Pelletier said he and others would vote to certify the recall despite Flanagan's lawyer's demand they recuse themselves if they plan on seeking the job as mayor. We got a notification today that uh, if we have an intent to run for mayor, that you shouldn't be voting tonight or doing anything because it's a conflict of interest. City Council President Joe Camara oversaw the vote. He has five days uh, to resign, and then if he doesn't resign for five days, then the council has to reconvene at some point and set election day. Flanagan didn't attend the meeting. I thought there was not the slightest bit of concern about whether this process is unfolding in a lawful and proper manner. Retired firefighter Bob Camara, who spearheaded the recall campaign, was clearly pleased with the outcome. Obviously, we're happy. A lot of people worked very hard. Uh, you know, we exercised our rights as citizens, and this is democracy speaking. Now, Flanagan's attorney, Preston Halperin, says he's asking any petitioners to come forward if they feel they signed that petition under false pretense. He's also uh, pursuing a legal aspect of the validation of the petitions. Now, under state law, according to the council, they have, depending on how the legal process uh, pans out, about 64 days to schedule election of a new mayor. Reporting live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.